partnership with the Heart and Stroke Foundation, Hamilton has deployed over 250 AEDs, or automated external defibrillators, throughout the city. And they can be found in many public buildings. Anyone can use an AED. They are a public access defibrillator. No training is required. There is a misconception that only trained uh, professionals or individuals can use these machines. It's not the case. Anyone can use them and it's better to use it on someone that doesn't need it than not use it on someone that does need it. Citizens are encouraged to use an AED and CPR if someone collapses and shows no signs of life, like breathing or gasping. The combination of AED use and CPR can increase the likelihood of survival for a patient by 75%, and every minute that an AED is not used decreases the chance of survival by 7 to 10%. With stats like that, it's important that we all learn when we need to use an AED, how to locate and operate one. So you would use the AED when someone collapses and you would immediately perform CPR while someone calls for help and grabs the AED. If you're by yourself, call for help first, grab the AED and return to the patient. Public buildings like schools, libraries, arenas, rec centers and the airport will have a sign on the outside door to indicate there is an AED on the premises. Once you're inside, you should see directional signs guiding you through the building and to the cabinet where the AED is located. So we've located our cabinet here. When you open the cabinet, an alarm will sound, but today we've turned it off just so you can hear my instruction. And inside you'll find a Zoll AED Plus, and those are the city-owned AEDs. Take it out and take it to the patient. So I have my AED, the patient is beside, I've called for help or I've sent someone for help. I'm opening up the unit. I'm going to lift the lid and open the pads. Once you've opened up the AED lid, you need to turn it on. Unit OK. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Call for help. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. So what I'm doing now is just following the instructions. I'm placing the pad on the chest, and it will continue to tell me to place the pads on if it doesn't sense the proper contact on the skin. Don't touch patient. Analyze it. Shock advised. Don't touch patient. Press flashing shock button. Shock delivered. Start CPR. So I'm performing CPR just as the AED has instructed me to do. Someone has gone for help calling 911. So I'll continue CPR until the AED advises me to stop CPR and it will analyze. At that point, you want to take your hands off and wait for the instruction. You don't want to touch the patient while it's analyzing or shocking. So you've done a great job. You use both the AED and CPR to assist this patient. You've increased their potential of survival by 75%, and all you can do at this point is continue what you're doing and wait for EMS to arrive. Using an AED is just one step in the chain of survival that can help save someone's life. Be sure to brush up on your CPR and AED skills and take note of where public access AEDs are located in your community.